Um, so the next thing I need to talk to you about is these. And these are blow up camping pillows. Oh, if I can get them out of the bag, that's really good. So yeah, these are blow up camping pillows. I've got two. Um, I would recommend only having two. I think three is a bit excessive. These are the blow up ones that you can get. And they're just like blue and this shape and they've got a little nozzle on them like you would with an air bed or anything like that. Or like one of those big rings you get in the pool. Um, and I just think they're really, they're quite comfortable and because of the material they're made of they're quite soft um, as well. I'm going to talk about something quite, quite controversial in the scouting community. I don't know what it's like in the outside camping community but I know what it's like in the scouting community. Is whether or not to wear jeans on camp. Um, a lot of people think they get particularly heavy when they're wet or a lot of scout groups I know ban them from camps as well which I think is a bit, a bit extreme. Um, I do take jeans on camp personally, um, not for a fashion statement, it's just that the majority of the trousers that I own are jeans and personally I, I haven't experimented with this, I probably should have done and I could like be haha I've proved it. but. I don't really think there's that much difference between jeans getting wet and like cotton trousers or like jogging trousers because I think that they, to be honest, jogging trousers start off heavier anyway and they're more like absorbent and fluffy so I'd imagine they took in more water. Um, the only thing I would say is with skinny jeans and this is like my one point to the other, to the other camp is when skinny jeans get wet they, because they're so close to your skin, because obviously you'll get wet and cold, your skin will also get cold as well. So I don't know whether that, I don't know whether that will affect you. Um, but I think it's a personal choice. And if it is true that jeans are bad for camping, then I think that's something that you need to work out for yourself whether you're going to sacrifice fashion for the sake of not being cold for the entire camp. But if you want to make that mistake. That is um, this perfectly one kind fine. of relates to boys and girls, but it's more for girls than it is for boys. You can get these, which is sometimes called a snood, sometimes it's called a neck warmer, sometimes it's called what did I buy it as called? I call this a snood. I've been told that this is wrong, and I've been told that there are many, many different ways of putting this. Some people call it a snood, some people call it a head tube, which is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Mountain Warehouse's website, which is where I got this from. Um, they call it a head tube and I just think it's the weirdest way of describing it ever but I would call it a snood it doesn't only relate to girls because boys can wear them too I don't think it's a particularly feminine item to wear but yeah like this is um, one of the things that that I find particularly useful on scout camps and I only rediscovered them recently I used to have a black one of these when I was much much younger when I was about um, I she probably just joined scouts when I was about 12, 13 -y sort of age. Uh, I used to wear one of these every single camp and it was a big black one. And um, they're used sort of when it's cold, like this, um, to cover your nose and mouth. Ow. <laughs> to keep you warm, because obviously your nose is quite exposed. And I think they're quite good at night for keeping you warm. But actually I think for girls in particular, or just boys with long hair, um, they're quite useful just to sort of keep your hair out of your face. Um, there are many different ways you can wear these, which is another reason why they're just fab. I just love the fact that you can wear them sort of any which way. Um, I wear mine a lot like this. And you can also use it as a scrunchie. If you've run out of hairbands, you've still got your snood to like tie your hair up. If with. not a snood, then the other thing I recommend buying is one of these, which is a bandana. Uh, you don't have to have it in a chavy as my brother said which is really polite print uh you can get plain ones of these like plain black whatever and you can also get literally every color under the sun i would recommend getting one of these because again they're just really easy for getting your hair out of your face i mean and they're just really easy just to tie up your head and forget about so you can go and get on with whatever you need to go and get on with Busy scouting girls as we are, we don't have time to right. press around with our so, hair. So, this is my waterproof coat. It is a man's waterproof coat because it was cheaper, not for any other reason. Uh, but yeah, I like getting the ones with a built-in fleece in the middle. 
this one's a two layer one so it's waterproof and beautiful on the outside and then it's nice and soft and fleecy on the inside i didn't order it in green i ordered it in gray but then actually when the green arrived i quite liked the green so i'm keeping the green um so yeah this um they tell you when you layer up not to buy um a lot of websites will tell you not to buy a size above or a size below or whatever but i would usually buy um sort of a large or even an extra large uh in normal clothes because a lot of my clothes are large or extra large um with this coat i've actually bought it in xxl uh mainly because i have boobs and men's coats don't equate for boobs because they don't because they're men's coats um and also so that I can layer up underneath because I like wearing sort of like my Explorer Units hoodie, which is this one, which is quite thick, or um, like another hoodie like that. And I also like wearing my onesie on camp, which again is quite uh, thick. How to stay sane on scout camp. A lot of girls like very, this is not going to, this is going to sound quite uh, sexist, but a lot of girls get quite emotional on scout camp because I think for me one of the things that made me quite emotional when I was younger was the fact that I was one of the only girls from my unit, like there was all the way through um, beavers and cubs and the majority of the way through scouts I was the only girl in my unit and even when I wasn't the only girl in my unit the majority of the time I was the only girl that went on every camp um, so it was quite like a lonely experience and a lot of people miss home and I have some tips for for missing home. Um, one of them is to take something that reminds you of home, whether it be a particular cushion or a teddy bear or something like that. Just something that reminds you of home. Everyone does this on Scout Camp, I know they do this, but the majority of people like bring a home comfort, like something that reminds them of home or something that just like you don't get on Scout Camp because the majority of the time Scout Camp food tends to be something carbohydrate, something meaty and some vegetables and then like custard and cake for pudding or something similar, something like that. Whereas, so I always bring with me something that reminds me of home and my thing that reminds me of home is popcorn and it's something that you don't get on Scout Camp which is a shame because it's amazing. Um, but I think that you should and I bring my own because it makes me happy making friends as well if you bring sweets on camp or or popcorn if you like does anyone want a bit of popcorn and then you'll make loads of friends um, and the other thing that I bring with me is iced tea because iced tea reminds me of home and iced tea just makes me happy and I don't think I don't, think, I don't know if you can be addicted to iced tea is there anything in this that I could be addicted to and look out for my next video because it will be the one about CBCW. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you at CBCW.